Hey Wilder folks, welcome to today's mobility. You are going to need either a band or rope or to be honest, preferably a pair of leggings or pants. So we are going to start today on our backs. Bam, started. And I want you to take one leg and bring it up, just working on keeping the pelvis flat as we get some deep flexion through this leg. Now, we can either hold on to the foot here or we can use our band or rope or leggings to pull up and to the side. So this knee is gonna come beside the body. We've got deep flexion here, but what I want you to feel is work around the hamstrings, the groin, and the front of the hip. And we're just gonna play around with where we're pushing here. Really, even sometimes I'll feel this sitting hip. We wanna make sure that we're not curling the back. So if this leg comes off the ground, no, no, no. Relax it off just a little bit. Reason I love leggings here is because you can put kind of the crotch part of the legging around your foot and then hold from a place that's comfortable. For five seconds, we're gonna push into that band, but resist. So five, four, three, two, one. Now relax, let the stretch deepen and change. This leg relaxed as well, maybe slightly pushing into the ground. For five seconds now, we're gonna send this knee out to the side and use your arm to resist that. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Let that stretch deepen and change. You might get a stretch through here from this leg being flat. That's awesome as well. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to move our band or hold on with our hand and get a ankle stretch. So we can lift here. What I want you to feel is a stretch through the calf here with a bent knee. So we're in this position and let's actively take the toes and pull them towards the knee for five, four, three, two, one, now relax, feel that stretch change. If you don't get a stretch through here, you can try pulling in a different direction on that foot until we find that these fibers are getting a little bit of a stretch. And now we're gonna push into the band or leggings or our hand for five with that ankle, four, three, two, one. Relax, let the stretch deepen and change. And now we get to hold on to our thigh. Again, if we're not in a position where we can do that with the pelvis being neutral, if we're scooped, if we grab that pelvis, then we can grab our band and hold here. This upper leg is gonna stay exactly where it is. And then we are going to lift. And I want you to turn the foot. Do you see how that's turned slightly? so that I feel this part, this inside part of my leg working. I should get to a shake point. So before I get totally straight, see how I get a little shake through those muscles? That is what we were looking for here. And we're just gonna go to 10 with these. Now, as you get better at this and you do this time and time again, you could take that band Hold it underneath the other leg to add some extra resistance. But I think you'll find at the beginning that you get a good enough workout here just as we do this, just by holding where it is. The cool thing is your hamstrings actually provide resistance for your VMO working here. Good, and let's move over to side number two. So. Remember the first thing we did here, take this foot either with our band or with our hand, and we're gonna go deep into some flexion here. Hip flexion's deep, my pelvis is neutral, so I'm not scooped. Instead, this other leg is flat. And I'm just feeling maybe for me on this side, I feel tightness through the front, which is interesting. You might feel a stretch through the other side. We're just getting this hip into deep flexion. The idea of this mobility is 
We're working on the flexion that we can find in our hip and our ankle to reduce the amount of shear force we're demanding from the knee. So for five seconds, pushing into this hand or band, it shouldn't move. So you need enough resistance that it doesn't move. Three, two, one, relax and let that stretch change. Ooh, that was nice. I had a good little release happen there. And for five seconds, pushing outside here into that arm. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. I feel <laughs> my glutes fire on both sides when I do that, which is kind of neat. Good, holding this deep position. And now we're gonna come into an ankle stretch here. So leaving the knee close to where it is, pulling down either with the band or the hand to get a stretch through here. You're gonna have to play around. Now, if you don't feel this, you could do these standing. It's easier for me to film and it's more relaxing if we do it lying down. But if you want to up the amount of stretch you get, you could totally do a bent knee ankle stretch here. And we're gonna push into this band. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Let that stretch change and move. I'm gonna grab with my hand just to find that calf stretch for me. If you get a hamstring stretch before you get a calf stretch, relax it back this way a little more. If you feel tension through the front, send me a message and I will show you a banded version of this that will work really well for you. Okay, it's VMO time. So we are going to hold our thigh where it is, turn the foot slightly out, just so we feel the inside, this medial or most inside part of our quadriceps muscle group working to try and straighten that leg. I should get right almost straight, feel a shake, hit that shake point, and then relax down. And I should feel that, you know, that beautiful muscle building, muscle heat on the inside here. That means I'm doing it correctly. We're going up and over 10 reps here. Remember we can add resistance if we need to, but our hamstrings are working to be that resistance for us. One more, shake it out. Okay, we are going to try a deep squat here. Just see how it feels for these deep squats. We don't wanna to go to a place where there's pain. So we can start at a higher position if we need to. I'm gonna use just a tiny counterweight. I'm out of frame for a second here, sorry about that. Feet are gonna be underneath our shoulders. I'm going to be corkscrewing my feet into the ground. So imagine I'm putting out a cigarette, but my feet aren't moving. See how those knees move over to the outside, second outside toe. And then I want my knees to come forward, not me to sit back. So none of this. Do you see how that's a vertical shin? Sheer force through the knee. <laughs> Instead, I want the knees to come forward over top of the toes and beyond. Feel the stretch through the ankle, I should say calves, through the hips. And you can hold this as long as feels comfortable for you. We're just playing around with this feeling after we do our mobility. Okay, that is it for today. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a wilder one.